Alright boys, we are back. I know it's been a minute and I'm sorry, I just had a bunch of stuff to do. But we back, we got new equipment. I got I got an actual camera. I'm not I'm not using my phone anymore. I can, I can text now while I'm doing stuff. I'm just gonna hop into it. I'm gonna show you how to arrange your beats. Cause people with him are like, how do you arrange your beats? You know, I got I got this eight bar loop and it beats fire, but the arrangement is ass. So I'm just gonna show you how I arrange it. All right, so we're in Ableton Live 11. I got this beat I made open. I got these keys. And I got this synth. I got these vocal chops from Arcade. Put a filter on them. Chopped them up. Then I got this guitar that I played back there. It's over there. Uh, and then I got these knocking drums right here. Uh, simple, simple stuff right there. Simple stuff. And then on the 808 and the kick, the secret sauce right here. The secret sauce. I'm going to show y'all this real quick. The Cymatics Diablo Light. They got a paid version. I mean, I just use it's just two knobs. And you could just add a little oomph to your stuff. Like this is what it sounds without it. This is with it. Look at that. Just beating through the mix, man. And all together, this is it all together right here. Woo! So we're going to arrange it now. You got that eight bar loop, but what, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? First off, I'm going to consolidate all these ones just so it's easier do that you just do command j select you can do literally everything select and then command j so that's just one one box so it's easier to just turn off and on you don't have to go through each individual one and whatnot uh so we got the beginning what will i do i think i'm gonna do the uh keys right here for eight bars my thing is every eight bars have something changed, like either take away something or add something. So we got this for the intro. It's just. Maybe do like a little beat drop right here. You have everything. So yeah, I get that. I get a little beat drop in the beginning for eight bars that I have the the whole shebangle right here and i'm just gonna put this out to like yeah like that should be long enough for a song so we got the eight bar chorus maybe take out the guitar right here in the synth Just, you know, just have everything, drums in them. The second part of that verse, add the synth, and we could do like just the first right here, just that first vocal chop, and then add that synth in there. So just. And then maybe like chop this up a little bit. So it'd be like. And then like maybe for those four bars, just cancel. And then maybe add back. Um, maybe like cut, then cut right here, cut that out and cut this out. And just so I just and then maybe for like have like a little 
pre-chorus or a bridge, take out the drums, maybe leave the 808, and then just have the vocal chops in the chorus. a little and then right there just like maybe like a second part of that course it could be like a pre-verse i don't know man the pre-verse kind of just take those perks and hi-hats out and then just have that 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 bounce with the drum, the uh, the kick and the snare and that 808 just bounce and carrying it uh, with all of it. And then maybe just take out the guitar right here and right here and maybe do like a uh, like a delayed drop. Yeah, do a delayed drop to like right here. Click this one more time. All of it. And then at this part, uh, we'll bring this one back and then we'll cut this right here. And we'll, we'll, we'll cut all this out. It's gonna be like a, just a drop. Oh, but leave the, no, no, no. And then we'll add the kicks in the 808 the 808 back to that so just like a nice and then for the outro just do we can do and then for the outro you can just add those keys and those vocal chops and that guitar right there and we're like boom look at that two minutes and 50 seconds so you gotta you gotta you got you can look at this you can look at this mate And the secret fade out trick, bro. Automate. Automate that right there. And then bam, look at that. Look at that. You got an arranged track and it's fire. And then you can go in there, throw in some automations like beat drops or certain what you call it, what you want. So like, on that beginning part, I might throw in a, uh, just automate that intro and then we'll just do like a riser there. Let's just drag that one in. Another thing you can do is you can add a snare hit. I don't know how to use this reverb. <laughs> all right so yeah that's just to add a little more pizzazz to your intros right there you can just throw in a riser some kind of like reverb clap snare whatever snap and just a crash right there just to give it that bang and then you can do that in transitions too so i can throw I can throw this all right here. Duplicate right there. And right here. Maybe take out that right here again. Take out this one. Two. You got your transitions right there. And then you can always like add like Foley sounds as well. But you don't really need to. This is like a trap song or whatever so yeah you got i say every a lot of people do every four bars they change it up but i do every eight bars change it up just add something take away something you know do like you know effects or whatnot just to keep it fresh in the listener's mind so like when a rapper's on he's like okay this is tight this is tight it's not just like the same repetitive thing over and over again but that does work for some people that does work like boom bap is just a lot of the same thing but even with boom bap if you're doing like you have a sample just like in the verses do like 
a filter on it so it, it just sounds different and you do like a low pass or you get a high pass filter on the verses and then just have like the sample doing the sample things doing sample things on the other parts i don't know <laughs> uh just to create like a vibe you know and it doesn't have to be like intro chorus verse chorus pre-chorus verse i don't know why a pre-chorus would come after the chorus bro come on <laughs> free chorus chorus verse you can change it up like sometimes you can open the song with a verse sometimes you open the song with a chorus i don't know if you can open the song with a bridge because i don't know if that makes sense just don't don't let anyone tell you you can't make music how you want to make music i'm just going on in tantrum so as you see i got they uh, like most of that's gonna be cut out anyway so as you see, you got eight bars here, and it goes into a verse. And then the verse is like 16 bars is usually how it is. And then it goes into like a pre-chorus, and then it goes. So you got your little pre-chorus right here. Turn it up, bro. Just stuff like that, like the little things like that just makes it more exciting. Like having those those drops, having just like taking out like the perks and letting it bounce and whatnot. It gives a little more to the beat and you know it's just like perfect things like that 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 part right there the rapper might just go crazy on it you never know you never know and then like yeah having like the outro i always i like to do i like to do like a 16 bar like final course and then like uh just a eight bar outro like that and then just fade out perfect it's perfect bro but uh yeah that's pretty much it man that's how you that's how i arrange beats uh hopefully it helps you if it did drop a like subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna be posting more because i bought like a 900 dollar camera so i'm gonna have to work for it to pay off itself so thanks for watching it's your boy pete and come back peace <laughs>